The first time I ever saw Paul Sykes in the flesh was in March 1978 at the Yorkshire Executive Sporting Club in Bradford in his first contest with Neil Malpass. The bout was for the British Boxing Board of Control Central Area heavyweight title. What I will always remember from that night is, when coming out for the seventh round Sykes he made absolutely no attempt to box, he walked over to Malpass, jumped up and stuck the nut on him which got him an instant disqualification, and rightly so. He looked thoroughly bored, like he wanted to be somewhere else and that was his exit plan out of the fight, it was a hell of a fight while it lasted though. I was just learning my trade and be refing at the time but I couldn't help but look at Paul Sykes and think what a character, what have we got here. I knew about Paul's past and that he had a reputation for being a real villain but he was such a character and the fight game has always needed its fair share of them. Paul Sykes was happy playing the bad guy in boxing and he knew he was lucky to have a boxing license granted at all after some of his extracurricular pastimes. Paul proved against John L. Gardner that he was a bloody good fighter for someone who had hardly any experience, unlike John L. who was a fully seasoned pro. The fight game is all about having that self-control, Paul just had a strange temperament and lacked that bit of self-control that top fighters have. I think if Paul had the discipline he could have gone all the way. Paul had a similar personality to Mike Tyson in the sense that he was extremely volatile and self-destructive. Tyson had Cosdemotto as a mentor to straighten him out and if Paul had had someone like that he might have been a better fighter but on saying that Paul probably wouldn't have listened to anyone.